Yo, what is going on, guys? It is for Welcome back to another video. I just want to let you guys know that Cobra Custom Teams Map 2 is coming out this Saturday, either today or tomorrow at 3 p.m. EST. And if you have no idea what Cobra Custom Teams is, let me explain. I'm going to be streaming the release and recording throughout the entire three-week-long map, so that's going to be very, very fun. So if you guys want to hop on and play, the IP is hatefood.cobra.gg. I mean, if you use my IP, I'll love you forever, and it supports me. And also, slash redeem hatefood. It gets you some free coins, and I'll get into what coins do in a second. But getting into things, there is slash faces during SO2W. So at 3 p.m. EST exactly, this phase one will start. One hour later, phase two will start. One hour later after that phase three will start so on and so forth and it's like a total of seven hours and then phase eight is actually 24 hours not the eighth hour after sotw so it's like basically when end enables and then phase nine is where you can actually make people rateable and there's dtr loss it's six days after the map comes out which is a thursday so you can read into detail at what every single phase does but basically you literally do what the title says the gathering phase is you literally have to go out there's no claiming you have to go out mine get a little bit of starting money and as you can see there's certain boosts that are going to help you for that specific phase like two times xp two times mob drops uh cell boost will supplier so you can get money for your claim 25 percent chance for extra resources and auto smelt enabled it's basically they just want you to go mining phase two is where you actually start claiming so you get that starting money put it towards your claim there's a little bit of border expansion the cell boost multiplier goes down a little bit and you can see the last two boosts are directed towards claiming i'm not going to read through every single phase you guys can log in and do it for yourselves and also check out the tutorial world that's in the hub so that'll definitely help you guys out a lot but i do want to mention that in phase three the third hour so in two hours and one minute in or basically exactly two hours in the nether or basically they call it the wasteland on here is now enabled as you can see on phase two it says end the nether disabled and in phase three it changes to only end disabled and then the end is going to be opened exactly 24 hours after SOTW. now you might be thinking that you don't get pearls till basically 24 hours after the map starts but you actually can get some from mob drops it's a very very low chance so i'm sure if you set up a good grinder you can actually get your faction a bunch of pearls as for pvp this is where factions comes in so we got slash armor sets which you can get through playing events on the server adventure goliath koth mamba and tropico they each have their own abilities adventure is basically just like a grinding set gives you more xp goliath is a very tanky set mamba is a very very uh, mid ground set and then tropical is a very offensive set now the koth i think is uh it's a lot better than goliath for sure because you do get one more protection level and five percent less damage from all enemies then we have pets um there's different tiers i'm pretty sure the good ones like the really really good ones are right here flash pet spirit pet and teleport pet but there's a bunch um and you can use these for like base trading you can use these for war zone pvp me personally i like this pet because it teleports into the body of your nearby ally so this could be a really good base trading pet but ancient pets are very very hard to get and then there's masks there's a very select few masks um i think uh you could probably get a good mask mask off of just crab and samurai and this is basically just it lets you put two masks onto this empty thing so honestly just a crab and a samurai mask would do for maybe sotw or maybe this guys i don't know you, you'd probably have to find like a good combination that you want so like i just said you can put two masks onto that one empty mask but there's actually uh, a way that you can get three which is through slash admin items you have a modern mask samurai mask and crab mask in one of them and then the second one has crab mask this guys and samurai then there's different admin items which is basically just uh so you don't have to grind um a six lore weapon the weapon admin items are basically just like to skip a step because you can get a uh, six lower weapon like this just by grinding it yourself and now for a question that i've been getting asked or like i've seen a lot of people asking global chat every single youtuber like people are asking how do you get stuff literally play what the server provides for you it, it, that's literally the easiest way to put it follow the sotw phases take advantage of the boosters and stuff like that visit places like bunker in the nether or dragon's den in the end what these places have is basically just a bunch of chests like laying around and you can just get free loot i think bunker resets every hour and then dragon's den is every two hours if i'm not mistaken there's also envoys going on every hour and then every couple hours there's slash events going on i think a random one starts I'm not really sure if it's in order or not but all these can get you loot bags which can get you items you can also do slash quest during sotw get you a bunch of stuff through that the xp shop the slash auction house there's a lot of ways to get stuff you just need to actually log on and try the server and start playing and the best way so far to get items is by typing slash reading meifu and buying stuff on the coin shop and then my favorite feature is a skill tree right here we got a mesoid npc you can upgrade different things like combat archery sorcery artifacts assassin and gathering so if i click combat you can see that you can upgrade one of two i'm not sure if you can go both ways of the skill tree but you get skill points you can upgrade this go up this route and then eventually you can get deal more damage with swords and or you can get have a chance to deal extra damage on each hit that's for the regular combat skill tree for the artifacts one which is basically the part items for the server there's only four there's only four by the way for this skill tree this is basically the exotic bone that we had on viper but basically you see that if you upgrade the skill tree of that certain part item you can get like a better effect from it so for the quote-unquote bone it would be the duration extends to 20 seconds gives you speed three upon use strength two upon use and then uh, gives the enemy slowness one upon use there's different upgrades for like the teleport snowball the pocket spell you can see all those right there the web egg but yeah this is very very cool i think i'm definitely going to be going for this one because i will be trying to base rate so i hope to see you guys on release hate slash redeem hate for you guys know the vibes i will be recording streaming and i'll see you guys there peace out